We are ready for baseball. Again, the last time an SEC series was played in Knoxville, you have to go to the end of the 2019 season when Tennessee played Ole Miss. And the dirt went around. Morgan can't believe it. Dallas with his first strikeout. The 0-2. High and tight. And he was hit by the pitch. The 0-2. Got him looking strike three. And high to right center. It'll be the center fielder Gilbert putting it away, and that closes out a scoreless top of the first turn. Got him swinging. You can see that late swing by Spence right there, and it ended during the 2014 season. Noah, one of the. Hit him. Two on with two outs for Tennessee. Fastball line to center, Sanford there, and the inning is over. Tennessee got two on, but left them on base. Solid, gave his team a chance to win. Nine punch outs, that was pretty special. Dugas sends a drive deep and out of here. LSU loves to hit the long ball, and they continue that here in Knoxville. An early 1-0 lead for the Tigers. Fifth of the year for Gavin Dugas. You know, LSU is a team, Roger, hitting just 275. But the power numbers are definitely there. That is home run number 38 on the season for LSU. And as we talked about at the top of the broadcast, that is a number that not only leads the SEC, but leads the nation. He was looking for first pitch fastball, well, and he got it. I mean, listen, as a pitcher, you want to get it. Jack Swing, went around. Third strikeout for Chad Dallas. To Giacomo, to Giacomo, LSU's leading hitter last year, out with a hamstring injury. Got hurt early, came back last weekend against. Oh. Down the left field line, base hit. All the way to the corner. Lipsius stops it second with a leadoff double. Pitch. Inside fastball struck him out swinging. That's the location he wanted. That's what Ology type thinks describing a pitcher. He decided to get smart and learn how to pitch and get guys out. Just Marceau with a breaking ball. Got him swinging. Three straight strikeouts close out the inning as the scoreless streak continues. And this Tennessee program is improving. Dallas strikes him out with an inside breaking ball. A slider in the left for a base hit. Tony continues hitting well for the Tigers. Yeah. Two outs. Cruz rips it past the shortstop Spence in the left field. Back to back singles for the Tigers. Run field here at Lindsey Nelson. Drills it to center, but it's playable. Russell puts it away, and that closes out the inning. So Dallas able to work around those two-out singles by LSU. Rebuilding the SEC in football. Everybody else is real good. William Spence real good down the right field line. Extra bases once again for Tennessee to begin an inning against Landon Marceau. Well, with in the SEC, it's such a gauntlet. Just trying to get to 15 wins. And when you think about it, you go, well, if you finish 500 in league play, that's not great. It it's a fastball to center. Sanford gets by him. Tennessee ties it up. Chance for more. All the way to the wall as Rucker will hold at third base, but he has made it a 1-1 game in Knoxville. First earned run given up by Landon Marceau since last year. It was a big run for Tennessee, a two-strike pitch. Off the bat of Jake Rucker, a sinking line drive. Give Mitchell Sanford a lot of credit. He got a great jump on the baseball, tried to make the diving catch. Watch it sink right down there and just under his glove. 
really nice hustle by Dugas. Pastravinsky, Tennessee takes the lead. They will complete the foot put out at first base, but that's the best strikeout Gilbert's had all year. <laughs> Helps make it a 2-1 lead for the Volunteers. <laughs> no doubt. I don't know if Travinsky got crossed up. Ball gets away. At any rate, that's Tennessee's second run, and they've got the lead. Struck out on the breaking ball to close out the inning, but what an inning it was for Tennessee. Strikeouts give him six. Arso missed just inside. Second walk for him today, putting Pavilion aboard. One out. Got him looking. Frozen with the breaking ball. Six strikeouts. Weekly back to the pitcher, and Marceau is able to work around some of the trouble in this inning. Got it there. Back up the middle, base hit. Granford with a one-out single. Balls get it. Eight strikeouts, Chad Dallas for LSU to get better as the season goes on from a consistent standpoint. Popped up, it's Spence, inning over. Another scrolls frame from Dallas. Has Ball four. Lead off walk starts the fifth. Got him swinging, a late throw to second by Travinsky. Tigers do get the first down of the inning as Spence swipes second. Marceau gets the strikeout, and they do complete the putout. So no throw to first necessary. Nine strikeouts, and to third. Doty closes out the inning as Tennessee does not score here in the fifth. College guys, girls are better looking at college <laughs> than they are at minor league baseball. He sits a right field for Beloso. He's got it. Nine strikeouts. Third time in his career he's done that. Last time was last week against the Bulldogs. Chad Dallas. A career high. Ten strikeouts, and he's not done yet. Six strong innings against LSU. Tennessee has a catcher out right now, and Pete Durke is the backup. Missed off the plate, back-to-back -back walks. Lines it right to the shortstop Thompson to close out the inning as Tennessee does not score. The one two. Got it. Swinging 11 strikeouts for Chad Dallas. And there's his first walk. You can blame that one on me, Rusty. Yep. In the left field, there's Russell inning over. Dallas through seven strong innings against LSU, and it's the Vols with the lead on a Friday night. And Durkay with the pitch. Yep. One out base runner for the Vols. That time didn't get the call. Now a walk and two on for the Vols. Gilbert rips it to right center. All the way to the wall. Tennessee will add to its lead. Durkay scores. It's an RBI double by Gilbert. Three to one, Big Orange. That's the insurance that Tony Vitella was looking for. Watch the location of this pitch. Right in the middle of the strike zone, Gilbert does not miss it. Not your prototypical four-hole hitter at 5-9, but he sure can't swing the stick. Dirt case. Payoff pitch. On the ground, there's one. Throw to first, there's two. LSU escapes the jam. One run does score, but the double play keeps it a two-run game. Popped up by Beloso. 
Russell there. Inning over. One, two, three. Go the Tigers in the eighth. In Alabama and Arkansas. That was Alabama winning yeah. 16 to one. Yeah, that's that was unusual. Here tonight, it's been more normal in Tennessee. Would like to start the weekend with the win. Pitch. Lead off walk. Wow. Wow. Tony Vitello is not happy. Bounce to second. Ferguson gets one. Tennessee gets two. Hundley, got him swinging, ball game, big orange. What a Friday night baseball game. A great effort by Tennessee, Roger. Volunteers only had four hits, but they put together three big runs. But the story was Chad Dow.